Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. I am back with another Scale Model Review. This time it is the Fokker E5 from Arma Hobbies. And this is all plastic with decals and photo etch brass. Kit number 70012. Now this is 170 second scale and the model company is based out of Poland. Uh, I have not seen any of these kits yet. This is my first time actually seeing an Arma Hobby kit. And I know there's a lot of people that rage about this uh, model company and they are brand new. They do have a few 148th scale kits, but most of their kits that I've seen are 172nd scale. And if you're looking for references for this particular airplane, you can find information about it on uh, Wikipedia. And of course, this uh, aircraft came into service towards the end of World War I. And I'm going to be doing a book review from uh, Ronnie Barr. You may be familiar with him. He's from the famous Wingnut Wings, and he's the artist that painted all the fantastic profiles of these aircrafts. Well, part two of his great World War I aircraft series actually highlights some great profiles from this Fokker E5. And let's just open this up because I'm, I'm mainly curious to see how the tooling is on this kit. And uh, please put your comments down below if you've actually built one of these. What do you feel about these kits? Do you like them or do you not like them? And uh, I just want to, I'm curious about how these are tooled and just what's going on with these. So I'll open this up and take it out of the plastic. And right away we have the instructions and the photo etch along with the parts there. And we'll get a closer look at these here in a second. I'll give you my thoughts about this. Let's look at the instructions just here real quick. Very nice, not very large. Easy to set on your workbench, obviously. And then the decals are contained within this so we have several markings as was evident on the back of the box they gave us some examples of that and we'll get a close-up view of these here in a second very nice decals I must say so the instructions look much like the Eddard type instructions with the blue highlights and such on here step by step uh, they tell you where the PE needs to go. No color callouts whatsoever in this. Very good there. The details are exquisite, it looks like. Very small pieces and such. And of course, color layout for the paint schemes. That's what they look like there. And lastly. So we do get the markings for all of these and I'll give you a close up of these at the end of the video. Here's an overall view of the layout for the kit here. And it is in gray styrene, as you can tell. Here's the back side. Let's get a closer look at these. And there's the fuselage side. The front, the nose of the aircraft. Some of the struts. The propellers. The tailplane or the horizontal stabilizer with elevators, rudder pedals, control stick, the belly of the aircraft, the rudder, the wheels, some more struts,
parts for the engine, cylinder, the top cowl of the aircraft, this is from the underside, some more struts, part of the landing gear, instrument panel, radiator it looks like, the guns, the tires without the spokes, I believe we get the spokes with the photo etch, and the other side of the fuselage. and the wing there. All the details are crisp and recessed. Very nice here. Very high quality for 170 second scale. Let's look at the back side. I want to see how these sprues are attached to the parts. So this is interesting because they attach using what we call the under gating method where they attached on the side and just not on the edge. And you can see that very evident there on the wing. It seems to be a going trend from kits being produced overseas. But in this example, it's really not too bad. Look at the tailplane there. Not too bad there either. And you can see how they're attached there on the fuselage on the under underside. There's the seat. And there's the other side of that top cowl which houses the guns. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Let's look at the photo etch. Inside that small poly bag is the photo etch brass and clear acetate. The clear acetate, they give us actually give us two copies of the gun sight, which is a clear lens for the gun sight. And then you can see we get photo etch for the wheels for the engine, for the seat belts, some of the push-pull rods on the internal, some of the, the gun cooling jackets, and you probably recognize some of the other things if you're familiar with World War I aircraft. That's fantastic, I think. Let's get a close view of the decals. Two sheets were provided, as you know, and these were located inside of the kit instructions with a clear waxy sheet on top. And these look like they're produced from TechMod. Very nice details here. I'll give you a close look. Very fine markings. Very impressive there. Let's look at the other sheet. And the next decals give us the different versions of paint schemes that are found on the Fokker E5, along with decals for the propellers, which is very cool. Now let's get a close-up view of the instructions. We get a history of the Fokker E5, both in Polish and English. A parts layout of the kit, along with some paint colors. 
also provided in FS colors. Here's the first steps involved. and the color profiles. there you go. I did purchase this kit from Amazon. It ran me a little bit over $25, which is a great value for what you get in this kit, considering it comes with the photo etch brass and the amount of decals that are provided with this kit. So I think it's fantastic. What are my thoughts about Arma Hobby kits? Well, my first example, very was it was very impressive to me. Uh, the kit parts are highly detailed, well thought out, and uh, uh, you're not looking at some cheap, uh, you know, model kit that we used to get from over in Poland. This kit was made in Warsaw, Poland, and I, I actually um, have been there along with Gdansk, Poland. I've been there also, but anyway, that's another story in the future. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. It helps with my algorithm and gets my channel out there. Happy modeling, everyone, and take care.